Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping back down into the charts for BTC. We'll see what's been going on most recently and what I expect to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord links in the description down below. Fantastic community talking crypto 24 7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check it out today? Right, let's get into this, right? So uh, we're going to start things off actually taking a look at some glass node data, some key things that I think a lot of people overlook sometimes and well worth kind of getting your heads into to understand what's actually happening right now. Now, um, so I'm going to start things off with just the addresses with uh, Bitcoin of more than 1,000 units per address. Okay, so um, basically we can see here that we're just going along pretty standardly towards the, uh, well, pretty much since July of 2021, right? Not so many more whales kind of coming in. The, the number of wallets were fluctuating, but no, it wasn't a huge amount, right? Uh, we're talking a few kind of fluctuations here and there. Um, and it wasn't really until the beginning of this year, kind of late February, we sure saw a significant spike with the number of whales who own more than 1000 BTC. This is still something that's fluctuating a little bit, but it has been growing again since the beginning of April. More wallets uh, have been you know, acquiring at least 1000 BTC. Now, this means that the number of whales that are jumping into Bitcoin are jumping in and have been jumping in since February of 2022. The question you have to ask yourselves is why? Um, why are they doing this if we're going down to 20, $25,000 Bitcoin, right? So I think this is a key example of something that I've said many times before you do as they do not as they say uh, I know there's lots of people speculating that the price of uh, Bitcoin is going to drop down to twenty thousand dollars uh, four thousand dollars five thousand dollars whatever crazy number that people come up with um, but you do have to ask yourselves why would the whales uh, the very people who seem to uh, you know know exactly what's going on when it comes to the price movements of BTC uh, you know acquiring one thousand or more Bitcoin uh, at these kind of prices of around you know thirty $39,000, dollars if of course we're going to be dropping down significantly. They just simply wouldn't. They would wait or move the price down to $20,000, $5,000, $4,000, whatever the price may be, right? And they would hypothetically wait until those lower prices have come in to accumulate such a large amount of BTC. Instead, this large amount of BTC is being acquired at around the $37,000 range. Um, so you've got to ask yourself why there, why at that particular price and uh, what is going to happen next. Um, so it's an interesting one. I wanted to start off with that because as we get into the uh, the next level, which is obviously one of my favorites, which is the exchange-based data, uh, we can take a look at the net position change. And I'll tell you what, what's been going on most recently is just so much accumulation. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, we have now crossed over 3 million BTC uh, this year, leaving the exchanges more than has gone on. So take all the inflows, all the outflows, over 3 million BTC has left the exchanges. Um, and that's a net position change. So all this red here is Bitcoin leaving and all the green is Bitcoin going on as a net positive or a net loss, right? So the exchanges have been losing BTC at an absolute rapid rate. We take a look at yesterday alone, uh, there was 99,657 BTC that left, more left uh, than went on. Um, so really crazy numbers that are coming through here. More than 10% of the supply has left exchanges and uh, that's going to create a huge sh supply chain shock. Okay, we just think about, you know, when people actually want something and it's, you know, in short supply, what do you find? The prices go up and they go up pretty rapidly. Um, you can either take a look at kind of, you know, your, your gas prices, you can take a look at your, uh, you know, electricity, your utility bills, all the way through to, you know, what you see in stores maybe you're after a playstation 5 maybe you can't get one for christmas maybe of course the secondary market spikes up absolutely insane prices in order to you know capitalize on this shortage of supply so when the demand kicks in for btc we are going to see some crazy numbers in my opinion um, but i do want to kind of start off with this guys because when we actually take a look at the balance of bitcoin on exchanges we are all the way down here now if i actually zoom out a bit here and we take this all the way up to i think it's like 2018 uh, yeah, here we can see that we have uh, not been this low now since, yeah, we are we are talking about being this low approximately about, yeah, about here. This is now August of 2018, okay, and we know where we were, uh, you know, in terms of Bitcoin spiking. Now, this is obviously the, the low point. 
um, I think as we were approaching the end of 2018 was the bear market low. Um, and as we lose more and more Bitcoin off of these exchanges and shoot on back a little bit into 2017, we are getting crazy, crazy low. And I don't think it's going to be too much longer before we actually start to see Bitcoin right down at those levels um, before we were uh, you know, spiking up with a 2017 uh, yeah, bull run high. So I think there's a lot of things to kind of consider, lots of things to kind of think about. Um, but we are losing supply rapidly here on exchanges. Couple that with the whales that are actually accumulating. They're not offloading and not selling. Uh, we are. And I mean, we consider, you know, the amount of Bitcoin leaving the exchanges, you know, who's who's buying it, who's selling it, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, these are things I think that everyone needs to kind of have a good look and, and answer for themselves. Obviously, I can't give you those answers, um, but I'm giving you kind of a steer and maybe things that you might want to research into. We see lots of things like Michael Saylor selling off his Bitcoin secretly, right? And at the same time as you see in that kind of news and that kind of stuff going on, the actual data in the background is saying more than 3 million Bitcoin has left the exchanges. Okay, there's multi-year lows of the bitcoin on exchanges you've got whales which are increasing their positions um and you've got some news articles out there saying that michael Sader is selling well um the data isn't suggesting that the whales are selling it's suggesting that the whales are accumulating so it's an interesting one just kind of do some research on and understand you know um you know do the research and, and try to figure out what's going on for yourselves. Like, I'm not going to give the answer for you. Uh, it's something that you're going to come to your, on your own. Let's take a look at the price action then of BTC. So we have obviously started to see some interesting stuff. And I'm going to hypothesize a couple of different things here. One, I thought we had actually finished five waves coming down. It is possible that we haven't, and I'll show you why in a moment. Um, and we are right down a little bit lower than our, uh, our moves. And if we actually zoom in here, I think we've just uh, invalidated the structure. Yeah, we have. So we've just gone down lower than this dash line, 38,536 six okay as the price of btc is still falling down a little bit so if we actually take a look at the structure here what have we actually got going on we're actually pulling right back down quite significantly um and we could say that this is in fact uh, our fourth and a fifth wave coming down lower um, but i think we're better off actually reanalyzing this move uh, we'll just take it from the low to the oh, to the high just up here okay and we'll go ahead and transpose this to this bouncing point um so it could be that we are dropping down to about 37 flat uh it'd be interesting to see if that comes all the way down to test our trend line and um, before we finish it appears that some interesting things are going on here but what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of different looks here so um to start with uh because now we have moved past this low point we can say that this is not the right structure okay so the other way to look at this is our um we have our fourth wave just here and our fourth wave is actually up at this point and our fifth wave will have to come down okay and the reason for this is we have to make sense of these five waves that are right here they cannot um start with five waves in a uh, bounce to the upside if we are losing the low of this one okay we, we can if we lose this low point which we just have done here okay then we cannot start with five waves so uh, on that note we have to chalk this up as something different it means that we're still inside our fourth wave and we haven't had the fifth wave down lower okay and the reason for that is this move becomes three three five okay and um, so essentially what we actually have here is a larger abc move which is basically an expanding flat an a wave a b wave and a c wave this now means that we are looking for five waves to come down into this final fifth wave low and of course we can take our uh, low point here of our fourth wave to the high point of the fourth wave and we can give ourselves a new target to be aiming towards, which would basically be 36,000 to 37 and a half thousand dollars. Okay, so I'll just put that here. I'll grab my price labels and we'll just throw that here with that one. And we'll throw this one here with this one. Okay, and um, so we end up right in this sweet spot. Okay, so we're talking about $36,000 and we're talking about 37 and a half thousand dollars. Okay, that's the, the area that we're looking for there. Um, so for the most part it, that's now the new kind of way that i'm looking at this um since we have now invalidated the five wave structure at the beginning here um, and the directional uh the directions that bitcoin's gone is is still the same um, and it is still possible that we pull back even further uh, under this structure um but again i will be reviewing everything because a five wave structure here makes this a wave much much more significant 
which means that we will have a bounce that will still be pretty significant upwards and we'll still have a very significant low point as well okay so lots of things to kind of consider here lots of different formations that we have to kind of monitor um five waves down like this they don't just tend to end on their own and um, they will tend to be five three five or five three five three five um and essentially that's going to be quite uh quite a big drop here for, for bitcoin right now um we actually bring the stochastic rsi back into play we can see there's a little bit more room on this hourly chart um but if we bring this up into the four hourly that's now oversold the eight hourly is oversold the daily is almost oversold and all of this is actually doing a lot of um if I zoom in far enough here, uh, a lot of corrective work for our weekly stochastic RSI. So um, this could be a really good opportunity to see this thing completely finish out, bottom out on the weekly chart, the stochastic RSI, and that will bring us really nicely down to where we are already with our monthly. Um, so there's a little bit of corrective action that's going to have to happen here for BTC, um, but we're getting there for certain. I was hoping that the bounce would have happened by now, um, but it turns out that isn't the case, and we've got some different structure here appearing. Um, but essentially, pulling down to 36,000, that should be the most typical move of a fifth wave, um, so we'll watch out for that. Um, if we take a look at this from uh, a structural point that we have this uh, as an ABC, which is odd in itself. I mean, that could be five waves. That could be a bounce. Then we're looking for a few more waves in here that we have kind of already measured out. Um, ultimately, this would be bring us down to 37 and a half if we would take a look at this right into the sweet spot of about 37. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, OK, well, what's the structure here? Uh, what have we actually got going on? Um, and we could be looking at, yeah, a little bit lower um, probably closer towards $36,500 in my opinion at this point in time. Um, and then that should mark a point for bouncing. Now, if that is, of course, our fifth wave low and we only bounce up a, a wee while there, uh, then if we were to take the low to the high, uh, we grab that, move it over to, let's just say, 43200 then we are talking about a 32000 dollar bitcoin which would basically put us at the double bottom area um created uh there with a, a much larger kind of structure so interesting things i think uh, are going to be had here and uh, one to obviously keep a close eye on i don't think the corrections are done yet but we're definitely making really good progress across the daily and the weekly time frames um so do expect some volatility here for btc um, and do expect more bitcoin to be leaving the exchanges as the price continues to go down whales are accumulating and the question that you have to ask yourself is why guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto if you um, <clears throat> with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one